That shutdown drags on. We're seeing more local businesses and nonprofits step up to offer some financial relief. Ecumenical Social Ministries, in fact, now opened up its pantry to all those families affected by the shutdown. New size Laura Wilson in studio joining us with the latest. Laura. Well, ESM says there's enough food to accommodate federal workers in need right now, but they're very concerned about what could happen next month. Ecumenical Social Ministries is making sure these shelves are as full as possible. Now that they're expanding their food pantry services to all furloughed government workers in El Paso County. Friday or Monday is the pay date that a lot of people will be missing their first check. And so that's going to be a jarring experience for many people. But they're trying to stock up for what could be an even bigger need next month. I am on food stamps and that is my way of living at the moment. I am trying to find work. Unfortunately, not having food stamps would definitely be a danger to my health. John Tompkins has type 1 diabetes and relies on food stamps to keep his blood sugar level normal. And you're all set? If the government shutdown continues into February though, food stamps and WIC funding will come to a halt. Going forward and everything, I myself have no idea where I would even begin. I would be here at ESM a heck of a lot more. If the government shutdown continues into the next month, ESM expects these shelves to be empty after just the first week in February. And the emergency TFAP stash would likely be gone by March. And we're very concerned about that because of the number of people who depend on those programs. ESM says they'll need some extra help from the community in the coming month to make sure no one goes hungry. Have a great day. This is the time to donate because we don't know what's coming. And again, February would mark the temporary end of both food stamps and WIC funding if the shutdown were to continue. If you're interested in donating to the Ecumenical Social Ministries, we have all the information on our website, koea.com.